Hello guys and welcome back to the next episode of Minecraft Skyblock. I'm Nebman, we're on server penguin.gg owned by SB737. And in the last video we started developing the outskirts of our lovely home. We started building in the background a nice waterfall which we'll show you in just a second. Um, but we're actually going to try and get a view of it from our viewing point tower which will look pretty awesome. But while we're on that, as you can see, I'm now the richest player on the entire server. Top balances, that's me. I'm Nebman, welcome back. So as we run through our home, full of many, many surprises, all the way to the top of our viewing point, you can see in the distance the beginning of our new kind of exterior, our new uh, wildlife that's going to develop around our home. It looks beautiful from a distance here, but how about we go out and take a proper look? So yes, we basically built this this kind of waterfall system that's a lake at the top drop down drop down into this beautiful area here which also has this cool little hidden section out the back which we are yet to build on but in today's episode the first thing that we want to do is start our river system and by doing that we basically have to dig up exactly where we want the river to go and then start from there which will be a lot of fun so uh, obviously, we're going to have one of the rivers coming out from this section here. Um, I'm going to start off by... So this is going to be... That's about three, four wide, isn't it? So I think all of our rivers are going to be about four wide. That would make sense. And if we just get rid of these to begin with, and then we want to start basically developing our river down a bit. Um, it doesn't have to be completely straight, of course. But this is just a rough idea. Um, if that goes out that way, and then maybe it can bend out just this way slightly. Uh, maybe like this. Bring it out a bit like this. We want it about four wide for the majority of it. Obviously, that looks a bit funky. Um, and then we'll bring this bit out slightly. And we kind of want to wrap it all the way back around to about here somewhere as well. So what if we start off here and we start making some space for the river like so? will certainly help us along just a smidge and do the same up here oh there's no prismarine on this side that's really weird and annoying and then we've got to bring it out just a little bit more and we should be able to wrap it around and connect it up just like so and there we go that looks a bit weird to begin with, but nevertheless, it will start to look a little bit more normal as time goes on. Uh, if we just bring that out a little bit like that. Uh, cool. Okay. That looks weird right now, but trust me, when, it, when it's fixed, it should look a little bit better. Let's just make a few more holes here like this like this and then we're probably going to have this as a little sort of lake area not not a big one just a bit of a pond at the bottom uh, about there that will be a, a okay i think just like that i think that'll look pretty spot on now, obviously, we need to fix this. We need the prismarine at the bottom, so I'm going to quickly do that, and then we'll head on to the next river channel. Okay, so we've done that sort of river point, and now we're going to have to bring it round all the way out, round the outside, onto that way. So I'll make a start on that. Okay, it looks very interesting down here now. As you can see, we've kind of got a makeshift river printed out across our island. We need to fill in this gap down here with the prismarine blocks, and then we need to continue with our building. Uh, the question is, quickest way to do this? I'm going to have to figure that one out. 
So the next step in theory is just to follow the outline of the river with the prismarine, which is going to take absolutely years. But nevertheless, I'm committed to making this beautiful. So that is exactly what we're going to do. Okay, that's one section down. Only all of that to go. Ah, oh, great. Holy moly, but we've done the lower portion outline of each of these with our prismarine. The next step is... <laughs> yep, we've got to destroy the dirt and replace it with this lovely stuff. Which is... Uh, makes me want to cry. Like, a lot. Like, I'm currently crying. Because this, this is a lot. But we can do it, we can do it. I, I believe we can do it. It's actually kind of wild, not going to lie. I'm just doing this mass destroying of all of, all of this dirt. Absolutely going for it. The mass excavation to make it beautiful like we need. But yes, we're going to keep destroying all of this until it is as we want. Well, that's one part done. Uh, I guess on to the next bit. Wow, wow, wow. So we've done all of this section. That took ages, but now we've got all of that to do. Holy moly. This is this is a big project, much bigger than I initially anticipated. But nevertheless, we're here for it. Whoop, whoop. I just found a pet egg from destroying dirt. Is that a first? Surely that's a first. I've never had that before. Maybe that is a first. Maybe that's a secret trick. The more dirt you destroy the more likely you'll get pet eggs. I have a very strong feeling that that is not going to be the case. So let's continue. No rest for me. We've got a river to build. My arm is actually hurting as well as my fingertips. So I'm actually sat here having a break because this is taking a crazy amount of time. I'm going to have a drink and then we're going to carry on. I got another pet egg. You see that? That's my second pet egg from just mining dirt like this the whole time. We've nearly done it, by the way. This is actually just the most soul-destroying task that I've ever conducted. However, it'll be worth it in the end because I hope you guys are going to be like, oh, this is really cool, and then that'll be that. I'll be like, oh, it's so worth it because you guys said, no, oh, it's pretty cool. Right? Right. Finally, we've done it. We have done it. We have done it, which is brilliant, brilliant, brilliant news. The only issue that we have now is, ah oh dear, yeah, get it here first. We now have to place, like this, the whole way around what we've just destroyed. So then once we've done the outline of it all, we can uh, then just fast place the middle of it. So, unfortunately, this is going to, this is another task that I'm going to thoroughly enjoy. And, uh, yes. Let's just hope that we've got enough blocks to do so. And I'll probably catch you in a mo. That's one section done. Now on to the next section. That's the next stage done. And now this stage is just filling in the gaps. So hopefully we can do that without incident. Nice and efficiently. Which The way that we're going to do it is very nice and simple. I'm just going to bring these over here. And then all we need to do is essentially, actually, we'll, we'll just, um, might actually be easier if we just follow this around the outside, to be honest. Um, all we're going to do is basically fill in the gaps like this. It really is that nice and simple. It's much, much quicker than having to faff around. We just fill in the lovely, delightful gaps, and we just do that forever and ever and ever. So we need to buy some more blocks and as you can see it's just filling in those gaps perfect what more could you ask for um so i'm just gonna do that the whole way around the island and then we should be ready to rumble we are so close to the finish line i feel like i could cry right now this has been the longest it's ever taken to re reconstruct the landscape here but we have reconstructed the landscape we have done it. Oh, no, we haven't. He's a liar. He's a liar. Hide the proof. Hide the proof. And we're done. Wow. Oh, 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 oh gosh. Mr. Massive Chuck. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait. And we are done. 
we are done with the landscape refurbishment, which honestly has taken me way too long. Like we're talking a good, yeah, way too long is what we're talking. Um, so now next step is filling this up with ice so that we have some water. So over in here, and put it out in there, grab the ice, and then we go down here, and we should be all right if we just play some ice. So I'm going to do that, and we'll see how we get on. All right, so I hope you understood that. I'm just saying that I'm placing some ice in the corners, probably here. I think we're going to have to actually double place it anyway, and this is going to be kind of the theme for now is just placing tons of ice everywhere so i'm going to do that and i'll see you in a mo well after completing this first section of water <laughs> i'm starting to think digging up all of that dirt was the easy bit because of that was a nightmare and we've still got a lot to do wow 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 but yes let's carry on with this anyway and we'll see how we get on Hopefully we do, do okay, um, and uh, it all works out. Oh, we're getting there. We're so, so close to the end. This water's just going to flow through nicely, and then we should be all done with the water. Just need to get rid of these last bits, and then I'll show you how we're looking. It's taken a long time, I'm not going to lie to you. We're about, oh, we're many, many hours in now. It's this just takes us peculiar amount of time which is crazy but it'll be worth it in the end when this island is looking unreal now there we have it water filled absolutely fabulous we have done it we have our rivers which is cool and good we like our rivers which is also cool and good and yes so obviously next up we need to make some space for the coral some sea lanterns etc etc within which we'll crack on with now okay there we have it the coral is placed and we now have a cool a sort of a river system above our base which looks absolutely awesome i think the last thing we're going to do in this episode because this has really when i say it's taken a long time i mean wow I should be in bed right now. Holy moly, I should be in bed right now. But we've, 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 got, we've got to do this. And we're just going to add a few more trees just over this side. So we're not planning on building anything just here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to bone mill these up. Give this area a little bit more life. Keep, ow, my head! Just give it a little bit more loving, a little bit more life. Um, like that. Perfect. A little bit more, a little bit more. Thank you. And a little bit more. And we'll have a nice amount of trees just in this section. Does that want to grow? It does want to grow. Ah, oh, God. Ow. So then that bit is all treed up. We can have a little bit more grass just in this section just to give it a little bit more a little bit more jungle theme lifelike or stuff so it doesn't just look like bare grass lovely same with this section here we'll probably put a tree or so oh want these put a couple trees here and there just to spice up that a little bit more. I actually want that one there. Lovely job. Yeah, come on. Get up. There we go. Perfect. They're all coming up now. Oh, and then let's do the grass around these. And that should give it a nice little feeling to it. That's done should look a little bit better than we did before let's have a little look 
Perfect. That looks lovely. Absolutely adorable. Cool. That's coming along nicely. Uh, the reason that I'm not putting the trees everywhere now is because we're going to be building some structures around here. We need the pathways as well within. So, um, yeah, we've got a lot to build. And if we cover them all with trees, we're just going to have to break down the trees again, which we don't really want to do. So, uh, yeah, be patient. It's all going to come together nicely. If you are liking these builds, please let me know because I'm really enjoying doing them. Even though they're time consuming, I absolutely love them. So yes, stay tuned for more and then see you in the next one. Goodbye.